Hi folks, okay in this video we're going to discuss what we should and want to do with the Linus Allmark. Coming up. All right, shout out goes to Mark Bacho, right Mark? Or Bacho, sorry, Mark Bacho. See, no glasses. Mark Bacho. All right, Mark, I'll give you my honest opinion on this one. This is, um, this is kind of a tough one because the Sabres right now are so in limbo, I believe, when it comes to anything. We don't know what's going to happen with, um, with our trades. We, we got to wait and see. I hate to put it up. We, we got to wait and see. And I think it's really deadly important that this Jack thing, especially the Jack trade, happens before the draft, before free agency, all of it. It has to happen before if we're going to have any idea what we're doing with Linus. You know? My opinion on Linus, we, it, I don't trust that he's not, he doesn't have glass in his DNA. I don't trust it. I honestly see him as injury prone, kind of. Maybe that's harsh. No, I, I wouldn't say like, injury prone, but potential injury prone goalie. I could see us signing this guy for four years or five years. And you know, you know, he just crashes and burns from injuries. I'm just saying that's the last thing we need right now. And, um, I, I honestly don't think they're going to sign him. I, I, I don't get why though they wouldn't, if they didn't like trade him, right? and at least get a draft pick and give them as a rental to a team like Toronto or something as a backup. So, but I, I just keep getting the feeling or maybe we're not going to sign this guy. You know, if he tries to go and sign elsewhere and fails, I would say, leave him. Don't take him back. No, no. Sooner or later, we have to start taking a stand for our franchise on principle. We should have with Taylor Hall. We would. We should have let him set the season. I am still upset we didn't. We should have. You know, but Boston got what they got. They got the, He disappeared when they needed him in the playoffs. I mean, you've seen it. So, I think what's going to happen. If I was just to guess what's going to happen, I think we're going to let him walk. I do. I, I kind of got this feeling. All you know that. Our goaltending showed there's their signs that we don't need Linus like we thought we did, you know? And are we going to get a goalie in a trade? What if we trade Jack and we get Gibson back from Anaheim? I'm just saying. And people say, no, no, Gibson 6.4. Yes, I get that. I do. I do. But they're taking 10 million cap. Remember, remember that because. If we go and we just sign some goalie for three million and don't get a, a goalie in a trade, it's still three million in the hole. You get it? Like it depends what we, it depends what the whole Jack thing the way it goes. Because if we take some cap off of them, they're kind of obligated to give another young player. You know, and uh, I'm I'm gonna do like a video on that soon. We'll talk about it. That that this this is why we got to get this Jack deal done. We can't let this you know drag on and then the draft passes. I'll be upset if it does. Really. I would love to see them get this done so we can answer these questions 100%. If we don't get a goalie in any of these deals, then we have to look at signing Linus, you know? But my feel is if he does try to leave or wants like six, seven million a year, forget it. We cannot sign this guy. We, you know, the one thing I want to say when it comes to signing goalies, okay? You got one crack at it. You got one. It's not like players where you can screw up, screw up, and, and it gets covered. All over. It's not like that with goaltenders. You screw up once, you're dead in the nets. You know what I mean? So if we go and we sign Linus to like seven million and he bombs out and becomes very average all of a sudden, which can happen, then what do we do? We've got this hype ticket goalie we're never going to be able to get rid of, especially if we find him, assign him for like five, I don't know, say six years at six million. You know what I'm saying? Then all of a sudden we're stuck with another bad contract. Like, uh, like what, what's his name? Uh, oh, good. I'm blocking his name out. This is really good. Poso. <laughs> I'm starting to forget his name. This is good, guys. This is a good thing, not a bad thing. All right. So 
I say um, four million and under, we think about it. Anything over? God, no. I just don't think he, he's worth it, really. He's a good goalie, but there's a lot of good goalies. There's better goalies out there. If we're going to spend $4 million on a goaltender that we know is good and we raised him in our pipeline and everything, I can understand that. I can. But if we could spend then a million more and get a real upgrade, like I would have loved to got my hands on Thatcher Demko. Really, I know that you didn't see much of him this year. Folks, if we could get our hands on that guy, God, there are certain goalies I scout <laughs> myself, you know. So I think uh, bottom line with this, I think we have to wait and see till the jack trade. Uh, we really do because we can't really make a decision on goaltending. What if we go and we have a perfect trade for Jack to get these young prospects, but we got to take, let's say, Gibson off their hands. You get it? But we have Lena signed. And then the next thing, you know, you know, we'll have to what spend, what, $11 million in our goaltending? I don't want to go that route either, you know? I think, I don't, I'm not saying we have to be a cheap-ass team, but we have to be logical. We do. We do, you know, Montreal, I'm telling you, lucked out. That carry hit, hit the hot streak one more time here in Montreal. And watch that, watch out for that. I'll talk about that in another video. Okay, so that's it. That's where I th what I think we should do. I believe with Linus, four million, and maybe for four years, four million times four, four years, after we know what's going on with Jack though. Let's wait till we know what's going on with Jack. Because if we have to take a goalie back, then we have to let Linus walk. We're just going to have to start being cold. We do. We really do. And to be honest, if Le uh, Linus will find work, even if we didn't sign him. He's going to find a home somewhere anyway. So my guess is if uh, we offer him four, he'll take 4.1 with the first team that offers it. I, mean, I could be wrong. But we'll see. It looked like he, he kind of was happy to be here. In his last season interview, he said some really nice things about the Sabres. So I got no real feel feelings towards him if he walks. I don't. I really don't. Okay, folks, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.